put a zero here, be, well, you put a zero here, but you, you put a zero here, but well, actually, Okay, we are going to see how to do fraction in the world of only zeros and ones. And the main part is that we'll see how to convert a fraction to a binary point. You will see what I mean by that. And first of all, this right here is 1 over 1 zero, which is the same as saying 1 divided by 1 zero. And let's just go ahead and do the long division. Let's go ahead and put down 1 inside and then 1 zero on the outside, just like usual. The top number goes inside, the bottom number goes on the outside. And here we go. One zero doesn't go into one, so you go ahead and put the zero right here. And now we are going to add a point here. This right here, in the world of only zeros and ones, you call this to be the binary point. You don't call this the decimal point because decimal means that you have 10 digits to work with. Here we only have two digits, so this is the binary point. Anyway, when you put on this point, you can put a zero right here. But what you are saying is, inside you are saying one point zero is the same as the original one. And then you can see one zero goes into this one zero, you just treat it like that, and it's of course one time, one times one zero is of course one zero, and you see the remainder is equal to zero. So we are done. In another word, one over one zero is just zero point one. And now let's move on to this one, one over one one. It's going to be slightly trickier, but it's okay, we can do it. Put the one inside, put the one one on the outside, here we go. 1, 1 doesn't go into 1, so you put a 0 right here, and you put a binary point, and then you put a binary point here as well, and then you say 0, and you see 1, 1 doesn't go into 1, 0, so you put a 0 and put another 0, and 1, 1 goes into 1, 0, 0, one time, 1 times 1, 1 is just 1, 1, subtract, okay, 0 minus 1 you have to borrow, you have to borrow from here actually, so you make this equal 0, and you make this into 1, 0, but you actually make this into 1, and you put this as 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. And we are going to continue. Don't give up. We can keep doing it. Don't be lazy, I should say. Right? So you go ahead and just put down another 0 here, but 1, 1 doesn't go into 1, 0, so you put a 0, and then you put another 0. 1, 1 goes into 1, 0, 0 one time, so 1 times 1, 1 is 1, 1, minus you get 1 again, but this one, looks so familiar because it seems that we have done it earlier, right? In fact, if you keep doing it, you put another zero here, one one goes into one zero zero times, and you put another zero, you have one, one times one one is just one one. It's actually going to be repeating, right? So you can see that the repeating digit is just zero one zero one zero one after this binary point. In another word, this one over one one is just zero point zero one zero one zero one and if you would like, you can put a bar on the top just to mean that this part is being repeating. That's all, all right? And now, let's do the challenging part. This one right here. So this is going to be 1 over 1010. And let's see. OK, 1010 doesn't go into 1, so I'll put on 0. Binary point, binary point, 0. This right here is still 0 times, and uh, still not enough, so I put on another 0, and then still not enough, so 0 times 0. 1, 0, 1, 0 doesn't go into this, so another 0 here, and put another 0. Finally, we can do some work. This goes into 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, one time. 1 times all that is just 1, 0, 1, 0. Subtract, and this is 0, borrow, 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 so this becomes 0, this becomes, you know the deal is 1, 1, and 1, 0 like this. 1 minus 1 is 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, like that. And to continue, you can put a 0 right here, and you see 1, 0, 1, 0 goes into 1, 1, 0, 0, one time. 1 times this is 1, 0, 1, 0, and you subtract, and you see 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1 you have to borrow, this becomes 0, and this becomes 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, and then 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, like that. Okay, to continue, you can put a 0 here, but 1, 0, 1, 0 doesn't go into 1, 0, 0, so you can put a 0 here, and then let's add another 0. You see, this doesn't go into this, so you put another 0, and you put another 0 here. And we will have a 1. 1 times this is 1, 0, 1, 0, subtract, and you see 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1, you have to borrow, borrow from here, this becomes 0, this becomes 1, 1, and this becomes 1, 0. 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, and 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and then you can continue by putting down another 0 here, but you see this is pretty much a repeat from here. And I will just put down another 1 right here, 1 times this is just 1, 0, 1, 0, and 
it's going to be repeat like this, right? Because you get a zero and you will get a one, it becomes like this. So it's pretty much just going to be the repeat from here. So I just put on da da da. Right here, I should also have put on da da dot. All right, so the answer to one over one zero one zero becomes this. And you have to be careful though. You see, you have zero point zero 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 one zero one one zero zero one one and then zero zero one one. So in fact, only this part's been repeated. So you will have to write down 0.00011, but only this part is being repeated, right? You only have two zeros right here, two zeros right here, and then later on as well. So it's two zeros, two ones, two zeros, and two ones as well. Except for the first part, you have three zeros right here. So you put a bar only for the two zero right here. This means 0 0.00011, and then two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones, and so on, so on, so on, forever. So that's it. So that's it. And before you guys go, be sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what these fractions are in the real world. And next time we'll talk about uh, maybe some other things. <laughs>